What's good, fam? We back at it with another one, man. Now I passed a try not to get mad. And I was surprised. I'm sorry. I was surprised. Some of y'all was even surprised. <laughs> so we're going to see if I pass another one. I'm on a streak. I'm 1 0 right now, man. Let's get it. There are a lot of weight loss reality shows out there, but My 600 Pound Life is the only show that's been around for a long time because it has an irresistible hook. It involves watching morbidly obese participants work harder than they ever have worked before, essentially to save their own lives. Even when star patients become frustrated or quit, it's incredibly uplifting, especially given that they've all come from traumatic backgrounds. All of this can lead to some truly crazy moments. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at a few of them. So, let's roll. GT. Oh, I'm afraid because of how big I am. I still can't stop doing what's causing it. If you think you've seen it all after watching back-to-back -back episodes of My 600 Pound Life, let me tell you that you are wrong. As GT from Oklahoma was the craziest to watch. He using it as up. As the guy had gained nearly 900 pounds by the time he left for Houston. JT was one of the heaviest patients to ever enter Dr. Now's care on the show. And certainly... All the sausage, all the biscuits, all the eggs. the heaviest one viewers have ever seen on any reality TV show. But it's worth noting that he had a massive lymphedema on his leg, which added an extra 100 pounds to his weight, bringing his total weight to 892 pounds. He was living with his dog and his girlfriend Jessica when we first met him. He was 32 years old, but he hasn't worked since he gained 700 pounds at the age of 25, as he could Ooh, I'm trying to physically stand up. But what really took our breath away was the fact that, despite being unable to work, he had the energy and determination to walk to the door and get the pile of junk food that was killing him. And getting that big then, of course, made things even harder because I couldn't fit in my desk then, sitting in chairs like the other students. But there was a bright side. Clark lost over 400 pounds during his time in the docuseries. Congratulations. Congratulations. I gotta show love when it's due. Weighing in at 491 pounds. While it was a good start, he still had a long way to go to be in a healthy range. It's safe to say that many fans would be thrilled to see Clark return on a Where Are They Now episode just to see how his lymphedema has progressed. That's just according to you. What do you mean? What are you trying to tell me? Uh, my mental state, me not being in a mental state. Tammy Patton. I don't even have the ability to get out of bed soon if I keep going with this. Tammy Patton from season... I ain't never seen her. Not had a particularly traumatic upbringing. Her father was a drug addict, and after her family relocated to Texas to start over, Patton became reliant on food. Tammy had always struck... What do you need all that for, man? What is... You got two kinds of bread on your plate. What? Struggled with her weight. She spent her childhood years with her mother and brother. Her family, however, began to experience financial difficulties when she was nine years old. They were starving because of her own father's food addiction. The California native had gained over 300 pounds by the time she graduated high school. Despite knowing that her daughter was in trouble, Patton's mother never restricted her food intake. By the time she got to Dr. Now, she was 41 years old and hovering above 600 pounds. But the most bizarrely delusional part was that when the doctor asked about her eating habits, so far, what you have done to lose weight? I've tried a couple of diets. I've tried, um... She kept making excuses. Who 
Are you fooling, man? Like, seriously. Who are you fooling? That she wasn't addicted to food, but rather didn't care much about what she was eating. Oh, and that's exactly what our bariatric surgeon needs to get started. And what happened was extremely unsettling to witness. But at the end of her episode, after the roller coaster of losing and gaining weight back again with the rub of pandemic, Tammy finally made it to her surgery. I'm gonna approve you for weight loss surgery again. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Doctor Now. Aaron Washer. I hate life and what I let it become. Imagine being so large that you can't even go grocery shopping. That was the Imagine getting so like that you can't even see your penis or your vagina. I like seeing my penis. And I know there's a lot of you women that like seeing your vagina. Please keep it that way. <laughs> the case with the young Aaron Washer, who was so large he couldn't go anywhere on his own. So, Aaron devised his own plan as he forced his elderly 76-year-old father to shop for him. But his father wasn't sure how much longer he could do this. Aaron cannot get in and out of the car easily. And he can't stand and walk very far because he doesn't have a strength. If you can get in the car, sir, he can. Trust me. Aaron expressed guilt and shame about it, but then claimed that the reward of all the calorie-dense food and treats makes him forget and that he doesn't give a damn about his father's health. Aaron has been confined to his home since the death of his mother to care for his aging father. However, the tables have turned, and his father, a war veteran, is now looking after him. Aaron was enslaved by his food addiction, and despite being in constant, excruciating pain and feeling bad about himself, he continued to do the wrong things and eat everything in sight. He couldn't walk without the aid of a cane at his peak weight of over 700 pounds, and his exercise was limited to walks to the kitchen and bathroom. Aaron went in to Dr. Now for medical help to start his weight loss journey, tired of feeling like a burden and desperate for change. Aaron was able to stick to the diet and exercise plans given to him thanks to his father's constant support. And as a result, he was able to lose a significant amount of weight on his own and gained approval for weight loss surgery. He lost 315 pounds in total. I'm going to go ahead and improve you for weight loss surgery. Dolly Martinez. The only thing powerful enough to just... I ain't gonna lie, she made me mad in her episode where she was talking to her mama. Start me from darker thoughts. It's good. Children are supposed to live stress-free lives, but Dolly wasn't so fortunate, and she had to deal with more ups and downs during her childhood. With no one by her side, she began to crave that inner peace, yo, and seeing yo. food as the ultimate. Oh, you want... Mm. What do you need all them sausages for? That is definitely Wonder Bread. I, I'm pretty sure. Why do you need... That, that is at least... 9 to 10 eggs on your plate. I'm trying, y'all. To the solution, she began to eat. Not to fill her stomach, but to experience that inner peace. Dolly Martinez's binge eating habit may have helped her find comfort in anything, but it had serious consequences for her health. Martinez weighed around 120 pounds at the age of seven, and bullies began to circle her because of her fat belly and obese body. Dolly was heartbroken inside every time she heard the words fat and obese, and she couldn't do anything about it. So she dropped out of school to put an end to her school bullies, eschewing all of the derogatory remarks directed at her. But did this help with her weight? No. She stayed at home and began consuming massive amounts of food. Dolly eventually decided to lose some weight after a wave of realization hit her heart. But when she first appeared on the show, her food addiction had gotten to the point that she kept repeating, food is my highest priority. Despite the fact that she was well aware that her weight was costing her her job and eat. Y'all know y'all showing somebody else? Or it's like. 
even jeopardizing her marriage. But when I get hungry, none of that matters. Food is my highest priority. And she couldn't get her weight down to her goal. So the doctor now turned her down because she had only lost 40 pounds in a year and had made no behavioral progress despite seeing a psychotherapist. You lost 40 pounds a year, ma'am. You know how much weight you could have lost in that one year. Five hours to tell you how I feel, and I will not take her back. Before we go on to the last psycho and crazy moment on our list, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video, as well as if you have any other favorite shows that you'd like to see on our channel. Nicole Lewis. I hate what my life has become. And if I don't change, I'm not going to be here much longer. Lewis had a difficult childhood, and like many obese people on the show, turned to food for comfort. She was raised by parents who were drug addicts, and didn't seem to have much time or patience for a young child. Nicole's mother was finally sober enough to be a part of her life, but it wasn't a pleasant experience either. When we met Lewis in her episode, she was 23 years old and weighed around 700 pounds and already had two children. Her traumatic childhood, as we told you previously, influenced her choices later in life, and her weight became so bad that she couldn't fit through a bathroom door or comfortably shop at a grocery store. Lewis recognized what she needed to do, and like so many others before her, contacted Dr. Matt. Dr. Now wanted her to move to Houston, which has set off a chain of events, as her family continued to live their old lives in Houston, eating the same unhealthy food and even feeding it to Nicole. But the worst part was watching her sob like a child when she couldn't get on the bed to sleep, and her husband, instead of being supportive, began screaming at her. Tell you what, if you want me to be supportive, you can be supportive. She came back strong after a shaky start, attempting to cut so many calories and carbs at once. She was eventually able to get back on track and lose it. He need to get on it too. Total of 163 pounds. She was given permission to undergo weight loss surgery. I'm gonna approve you for weight loss surgery, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you so much. That's good news. This man is like fat Marv. He look like a fat Marv. You know, home alone. I'm telling you, that that's exactly who we look like. Oh, it's wonderfulness. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. So All right. Uh, I, I, let me know if I broke y'all, cause I I'm pretty sure that I, I I try I kept I got a headache trying to keep this together let me let me just go off on one video one time because <laughs> i got a headache man i i wanted to say so much in this video but i'm trying to keep it I... we'll see in the next video if i if i snap or not if i do it's understandable but uh <laughs> Yo, if y'all like this one, smash the like button for your boy. Comment down below what y'all thought of the video. And also, what else y'all want me to react to down in the comment sections as well. Um, share the video and also subscribe to the channel for your boy, man. I'm going to be doing, I think this got like nine of these. So I'm going to be doing the whole nine. I ain't like the way she talked to her mother, man. I didn't like you know, I mean, she's going to talk all that mess. You ain't lost 40 pounds. You lost 40 pounds in one year. Girl, you. Nah, that's it. I'm, I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs> See y'all the next one.